Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to talk about how systems are everything. They are, truly are. They Well, we have um, spent a lot of time lately here thinking about um, our podcast, like, um, and our Million Dollar Academy that we have, and mm -hmm. the green growth method that we teach inside of the academy, because we're really kind of in like a growing phase right now, yeah. I think. Um, we're about three years into having this online business, which is completely different than running a landscaping oh, yeah. business, mind Way you. Different. So we have been going through all of the growing pains of, of running an online business. And so, and we've kind of really this year hit a turning point in, you know, we're really starting to get some traction, really starting mm -hmm. to grow. And so that forces us to think about like, what is our messaging? Why are we here? Why are we doing this? What are, you know, what, what are we doing? Who are we? <laughs> so, um, and we have said it many times, you know, we really started this and we're really here to put an end to be there being broke landscapers. Absolutely. You know, we all agree that landscapers wake, wake, work way <laughs> too hard uh, to not make money. I think I was saying work and make that came out yeah, wake whatever. anyway. And so th that's like what that's like why we're here. Um, and so sorry, I'm having a hard time concentrating. Our dog is like heavy breathing on me. He was yes. just outside having the zoomies and he is now choosing to sit here in. Well, he's not sitting in my lap. He's yeah. a very tall dog. So he has his head in my lap, just very heavily breathing on me. So, so, so Martin, hopefully you guys can't hear the. Huffing yes. And puffing if him. that comes up on the <laughs> microphone, I apologize. It is my heavy breathing dog. Yes. So anyway. Um, we, we started all of this, we were doing all of this to put an end to there being broke landscapers. Mm -hmm. And when we really just try to boil everything down into like one thing, that's really kind of hard to do. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but over yes. and over and over again, when we try to just put it into one thing, systems is what mm -hmm. we come up with. Yeah. Everything, everything comes back to systems everything that we're doing in our business, everything relating to landscape business has to come back to systems. And that's we've been really looking at our academy ourselves and how we can improve our systems in there and make things easier and a little more understandable and everything comes back to to the systems part of it so yes well because we created the green growth method because we kind of need we, we kind of needed to add structure to mm -hmm. everything that we had in there so if you think about it the green growth method is one giant system um, for any of you that are newer listeners or haven't heard us talk about it um, our green growth method is um We've got one step is um, like sisters, procedures and um, checklist, checklist foundations. Yep. We've changed the names of these steps over the years to kind of try and make them clearer. But yeah. so if you've listened to older podcast episodes, you're like, that wasn't the name. Yeah, we've fiddled with the names. The information's all the same. We've just tried to make them easier to understand. Yeah. Well, and if you also heard us talk, we talk about doing it dirty and just doing things and getting them done. And oh, this yeah. is one of those things we, we've done. And it's kind of like these systems and stuff we talk about. We named it one thing, and then we found out it wasn't working the best, or people weren't didn't understand it, or it wasn't clear. So we changed it, and we just, we're progressing. Yes, and it's, and it's totally fine because yep. it's always still good information. Yep. So, um, yeah, so we have like one step that's like system procedure and checklist, um, like foundations. That's all mm -hmm. about learning about systems procedures. Da 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 da. Um, then we've got build your dream team, and so inside of there, there's a whole bunch of systems and processes inside of that. Mm -hmm. Then we've got things, um, we've got a module on knowing your numbers. That's just a whole bunch of systems and courses on knowing your numbers. Then we've got um, one of the steps is profitable pricing. And mm -hmm. that is just estimating systems. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't think people always realize that estimating systems already exist that work really well. You don't mm -hmm. have to like guess or just make things up. So we've got a whole thing on that. Um, and then we've got a whole step on um, like marketing your business mm -hmm. and all that is, is just systems you can use to market your business. So it's like these large, it's a system with systems in it. And then those systems have procedures. And so it's just kind of like, oh, yeah, and everything that, <laughs> everything here we talk about are the systems you need in your business. If you really look at it, you know, that's the, the getting organized. So creating the systems and checklists to keep your team moving so you can get out of the field. It's uh, knowing how to price. Um, so you have to have yeah, if you're in. having any kind of trouble in your business, if you just take the time to sit and think, okay, what kind of system do I need to fix this problem? Mm -hmm. um, I'd be hard pressed to come up with anything that you can't fix with a system. Maybe, I don't know if you come up with something, drop it in a comment yeah. and we'll try and think of one. But really, um, like, cause for example, if you're, um, if you're wasting what are here, you've got some examples. Yeah. Uh, you're wasting too much time going out on estimates that aren't leading anywhere. Okay, so there's a problem. Is there a system that is the solution? Yeah, so you can look at your, your you know, if it's, you're wasting so much time going out there and you're just not getting the leads, you know, you're, 
you're creating the estimates for them. You're spending all this time out there. What can you do to solve it? So one of the things is, is creating some kind of sales system, um, which would include like pre-qualifying with the customer over the phone. So even before you step foot out to that job site to look at it, you're, you put together some, you know, like a sales structure, a sales process that you go through. So you're asking them these pre-qualifying questions. If they meet those qualifications, then you go out to the job site and then you have another sales process when you get there. And it's having all these systems and, and procedures in place is going to help make your things run smoother and eliminate the the wasting time and, and, and hassle. Because I don't know about you, I've wasted hours and hours going out, doing jobs, doing that design and it turned out they can't afford it or they're just or they not ready yet. They weren't even like in the same ballpark. Like yeah. our minimum jobs started at like $5,000. And of course, everybody thinks everything is nearly free. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, when you even give them a small design that, you know, even comes out to like $7,500 mm-hmm. and they're like, what? Oh yep. my gosh, I was only prepared to pay like 2000 yep. You have wasted your time. So have that pre-qualifying in your, mh- in your, in your system and then you can get rid of them right away. Don't even yeah, have to worry about just, it. it all- well, we had a, uh, one of the members of our, of our academy started doing this mm-hmm. and she, yeah, uh, she, and she, just, uh, yeah, she, uh, didn't really have a process, uh, just kind of quick, real quick backstory. Uh, she took over a, a family business and, um, she didn't really have the knowledge of sales and everything. That wasn't her forte. Um, but she ended up taking this business over and purchasing it and she had to learn how to do systems. And, she was just kind of going out and trying and, you know, and it wasn't working. So we came up with some, some procedures that well, she could do. Well, because wasn't she going out, don't they do more like higher end maintenance? Yep. And so if she wasn't eliminating the tire kickers, the low ballers, you know, or the people that just want the low ball prices, she wasn't eliminating them right off the start. Yeah. So she'd go out there and again, waste her time, you know, and their time and, mm-hmm. and they couldn't even afford, you know, what she was doing. Uh, she was also not really going through a, a great step by step and how to go about getting the sale and asking for the sale. She's just hoping they'd want to do it. So we talked about that. So, but again, it was all creating procedures and, and systems for doing these types of things. So that way too, you're doing this consistently for exactly for this per- sales, you're doing the same thing over and over. If it's not working, you can go back and change it and modify it. Like you said, the names are of our program. We've had to go and change it. It's, it's just yeah. how things go. And then that's part of the whole systems <laughs> procedures process. Yeah. And, uh, Go ahead. I'll say that another example was, uh, and this is something we had early on in our business was crews were forgetting things on the job site, whether it was like leaving garbage, leaving tools, whatever it was, you know, not blowing off the, the mulch off the street or sidewalk or driveway, whatever it was. Um, so we basically came up with checklists that the, the crews had to follow when they got down to the end of the day. With that job, they had to go, you know, make sure the garbage is picked up, make sure the job site's picked up tools and just, they had the whole checklist of things and, these are all in the, the procedures. You know, we have an end day procedure, but to follow up to make sure they're doing those procedures, we have the checklist. So um, just we just had to create these types of things. You know, it sounds silly and stupid, but. It's simple, but it's a double whammy because mm-hmm. not only does it make sure that everything is done because you have the checklist so you don't forget mm-hmm. anything. Number two, it, it um, folds in accountability it does. because then if something isn't done or is done wrong, everybody starts pointing fingers like mm-hmm. immediately. It was not, I didn't forget. I thought they were doing it. No, I thought they were doing it. And so, well, somebody checked it off the checklist. So yeah. whoever checked it off the checklist, okay, that's where you can start, you know, investigating. Okay. Hey, why did this get checked off if it didn't get done? Yeah. So it just built in account accountability as long as, mm-hmm. or not as long as along with uh, getting everything done. Yeah. Another one we, and this is something that actually I was talking to one of our members today. Uh, they were, they're spending, you know, a decent amount on marketing their business. So I asked him, I was like, are you keeping track of where your leads are coming from? You know, do you know what you're spending your money on? He's like, no, not really. I was like, well, you need to come up with some kind of way to, you know, write down as soon as that customer calls in where they're, you know, where you're getting it from. And don't just put down internet. You need to put down, are they coming from the Google ads, Facebook ads, what, you know, whatever that you're doing, a website they heard about you, a friend, yeah, whatever it your is. Facebook page, wherever it is, be yeah. very specific on it yeah. so you can, yeah, trace that back. That way you can pour your resources into the things that are working. Exactly. Yeah. If they're coming from Facebook ads and not coming from the Google ads, then put more money into Facebook ads because that's obviously working for you. So if you're just, right. otherwise you're just kind of west, wasting your money and just guessing at that point. So, um, you know, he didn't really have any software this time, you know, and couldn't afford to like get some software. 
Like, so just do the old school way. And this is what we still do in our business. It's in a spreadsheet. It's, it sounds simple, but it works, you know, until you get to that point, but you just have to start somewhere. And there's always ways, you know, you can prove on it again when you get, get going more, but you have to do this. So, so he's going to start implementing some of those, uh, Mm -hmm. the spreadsheets to keep track of it. And again, it's just having a procedure. So I said, you know, have, we have like a lead sheet inside the academy where the person calls in. Whoever's answering the phone can take down and and figure out where they're coming from. And then as soon as they're done on that sheet, the next step in the procedure is to go to the spreadsheet and fill it out. So again, it's all these for systems and procedures. And it, it's just something that has to be done. And, you know, we all think it's simple and stupid that we don't need these types of things. But we always forget because we're not used to doing those types of things, you know. And we, we have so many other things going on. You don't, you know, your chances of remembered to to put that on the spreadsheet afterwards is probably slim or you'd be like, ah, I'm going to get to it later. No. We all know that later never comes. Yeah. So <laughs> just, just have this procedure, go through it and then just make sure it happens every single time. Yeah. So I guess the moral of the story is systems are everything. And if you're stuck on something, just take a little minute, sit and think about it. Is mm-hmm. there a system that you can implement that can help solve your problem? If you are stuck on something and you aren't able to come up with it, let us know, leave us a comment or yep. find us on social. We're happy to help you try to figure it out. Um, because inside the Academy, we, we have all of the systems that we used inside of our business and, and we're actually adding, adding more all mm-hmm. the time. Um, cause some people in the Academy like do things that we didn't necessarily yep. do a whole ton of. So we're always adding things in there that are as done for you as you can. Cause the whole point is we want people to take action on them and you shouldn't have to sit and come up with them from scratch if they already exist. Well, the other thing too, is if we don't have them in there, the other members may have some already. Oh, so sure. you can reach out, you know, on the, our private Facebook group, they can reach out and talk to each other and, Hey, do you have this and that? And oh, they yeah. share We've each had other. People so, who, yeah. Share stuff so that they've come up with. So it's a, definitely a great resource. One, one little quick tip I want to throw in here is, is if you are struggling with something, you know, it's something that keeps happening over and over, make a system or a procedure for that first, do whatever yeah. troubling you the most right now and do that right now and make something I'd like, Literally, you could spend 10 minutes putting something together probably and, and make it happen. So Yeah, and if you need help, like we said, mm-hmm. hit us up in the Academy. We've got a ton of them in there that are done for you. Um, and you can always ask questions on how to get started about um, on that. But don't let your days, you know, get away from you mm-hmm. when there is something, you know, this is as simple as a checklist that uh, could really make your days go better, I guess, is the moral yeah. of this rant. There's probably a system to fix just about anything that's there troubling is. you. There is. All right. All right. You got some questions for me? I do. Okay. Number one, what's the longest you've ever waited in line for something? And what was it? I don't even know. Yeah. We're not really like those people that like wait in line for new iPhones or anything. I didn't know if maybe like back in the day, like you had to have new Jordans or something. I think I, you know, one of the (laughs) Christmases I've waited in line at like Best Buy and stuff like that for Just to get in for in general, nothing specific. I don't think, I don't remember what I even was for. Yeah. It was like, I didn't, wasn't those crazy people that like stayed all night there. You but didn't have it, a tent or anything? No, I wasn't going that far. I don't care. But like that. when the line was like wrapped around yeah. the building. Yeah. That was, that. that was some years ago, but. That sounds probably, like before married and children yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't have time for that now. No. <laughs> all right. If you could jump into a pool of something, what would it be? Ooh. I mean be kind of cool jumping a thing of jello i guess i've never just to yeah. see how it feels i don't yeah like would it stop you would you go all the way to a, the yeah, bottom i don't like what's like the viscosity jello, of jello like jello or pudding something like that something. just to see what it does it'd be kind of weird yeah okay there you go <laughs> hey whatever <laughs> uh what technology do you wish existed Ooh, what technology uh, there's a lot out there right now it's there's a lot of ai stuff right now yeah, you and um, I've been looking at the AI. Yeah, we have. So, um, but is there anything else out there? I mean, I go, I like my mind goes like full Star Trek, like teleportation. Oof. Was that too big of a jump? You were probably thinking of things way more literal. Yeah, probably. I was thinking <laughs> something, you know, when we go out to the job site that we can, I mean, they have it where you can take pictures, but you could do like a 3D image of the house and then it pulls it up and you could throw the plants on there and they can do like a walkthrough like right then and there very quickly. Oh, well, something that you could do like from a tablet or a phone yeah, real quick. something real quick. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. Well, sure it'll be out some point. Much but... nerdier answer than <laughs> beam me up, Scotty, but that's okay. 
All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us today. And uh, don't forget to check out the Academy if you're struggling with those systems procedures. And uh, Yeah, and answer. if you've got any questions, if there's something that's tripping you up and you need help with it, just hit us up and let us know. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks and have a great day.